people can walk. You know, I, honestly, there's not enough walking space there now. Exactly. So yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't want to open this up to that. Yeah, so that's, again, that's why I want to have this discussion because I think that, again, it's important for businesses to see that we're business friendly, but yes. we have to live here. So I don't yeah. want, no, I, just I don't want to throw that away. we always that. ran into when, you know, we right. tried to address that. And uh, one thing I thought would be a good alternative for that, and I think I gave is um, for these 10 types of exterior business signs. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't see anything restricting, what is it called on the second page, a blade sign. And if you go to... Um, on the side of the building. Yeah. Well, it juts out. Yeah. And you see it, like, so that you're walking down the street, you can see, oh, that's Jags, yeah. that's... That. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know, I, I have to go down there and see, I don't know if this is something that you know, somebody could hit their head on. I know we had the the landmark town signs, and somebody hit his head on that and came to the borough and made a fuss. Mm -hmm. I certainly don't want to do that, but I think that this to have the blade signs might be a good alternative for those businesses on Bridge Street, so that they have more information. For I think that I think our one of our main focuses should be to increase uh, walking traffic. Mm -hmm. So people go down to Bridge Street and they know what's down there. Is, is that going to be in addition to signage that they have already um, applied for and put on their buildings? Well, I don't know. I don't know if this is even something that's feasible. Okay. But I would say that, yes, this would be in addition to. Or we could have that as like, um, you know, you know what, I, I see what you're saying because I think that we should not have this in addition to know that I'm saying that out loud. Because sometimes, you know, the, some of the stores who look right here on Bridge Street, they have signs in their windows. Right. And they're allowed so many right. square feet per right. space. Uh, so if they have that and that stays and then you put the blade sign out, it's going to be a lot of signage. Yeah, just, I think that it, that's a good, I think that's a good point. I think this would be not in addition to, this would go against. But I'm sure your intention there. is to have like attractive signs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But remember that places like Doylestown and New Haven, um, when they do that, they have committees that decide. Right, approved. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and right. I mean that's that's like was like my second right. that we definitely need like a sign committee. Right. Or a sign. Right. That, yeah, I agree. Because it, I we don't want it to have them to have you know six different sizes in you know. 2,000 different colors right. and yeah. it just be so many different shapes. See, it's also it an issue like, in the Pensbury Shopping Center because half of it is falls. They're allowed to have larger signs than Marsville Borough allows on their frontage. Right. So that's, you know, I know when I talk to the owners because I go around every month, that's one of their issues right. is that they have to have smaller signs even though their frontage is the same as the falls side. Right. They're only allowed to have, like the, the Penn Mars Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. They just have a small mortar and pestle out there because that's all they're allowed. And that was definitely something I wanted to address there too. Um, I just wanted to talk about Bridge Street tonight, but right. I, I mean, I'm, I definitely wanted to talk about that as well. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's zoned because it is. That's cut off from here. I need to get a better map. But how far down we go? I think I would guess it's CS2. Because CS2 is not on here. No, that's, that's here. I think it's CS2. What about the corner of Bridge that's in Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania? Oh, that's way up there. C3. Yeah. So how far down you go? And the C1 is just to Rogers Locks. Right. And then goes. Yeah, up. that's just for C1. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I because think that's what you're looking at. No, I was trying to figure out where um, the Pensbury is. It the Pensbury oh, Shopping Center? Is that what it's called? I'm it's not, I'm yeah. not sure what where that Planet is. Fitness is. Yeah, but not, what's that called? Like, is that? It's called Pens Pensbury Shopping Pensbury Center. Pensbury Shopping okay. Center. And the other issue is the consistency on Bridge Street on the corner. That's what we have to make sure. Right. We're going to yeah. do this. That's the most important yeah. thing. Because you know we had an issue. The NBA are the ones that got the tattoo parlor to stay because he was leaving because he was told he couldn't have signage in the window and yet the record shop had the whole window covered with posters you couldn't even see into the store but when the tattoo parlor moved in he was told you can't do that so he thought he was being discriminated against because it was a tattoo parlor and that Marsville Borough didn't want him there so the MBA went to bat for him on that I mean that's sort of like you know well, we do have regulations on that 
Right. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby would have been good here tonight because Bobby can. Right. He knows what the sign rules are. Right. <laughs> you know, as far as size and all that. And yeah, like I said, I my whole like hopefully for the the committee is to again show that we're a business friendly town. Mm -hmm. But again, we all have to live here, so that we don't. Standards. We're not. We're not going <laughs> to give up. Yeah. Doylestown has a standard for their sign. Yes. Yeah, and, and I, I don't beautiful. think that would be a problem, especially for if we kept it. If we kept this within C1, that that's small enough, and the businesses are all pretty much the same size. It's not like in the shopping center where some of them are 750 square feet, right. some of them are 15,000 square feet. Some of them are. I mean, it's it's really. I think it's only. But Doyle's kind of like the feel of Doyle's kind of because it's right. quaint, it's, you know. And that's what I think that, that's what the ultimate goal of this is, is to make it more walk, okay. more walking friendly and clean. Because that's, I mean, we, right. again, we have the potential. Okay. If it's going to be walking friendly, the obvious thing is they'll park it. Where, I mean, if people are going to walk, they drive there and then they get out. Well, I think it's also for, like, our residents, downtown. too, to just take a walk down downtown. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's parking is, in the 7-Eleven parking lot. There's um, parking behind the Stockham building. I don't know there's the parking. I mean, I would think that people could park even if they the 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 street. We have differences. It's still... Yeah. I would just need so, some uh, well, some designation to where it is. Right, where it is. Yeah, even if they wanted to park, like, at the park. I don't know if they could do that because it would be night. I was just thinking of people who come to... People didn't park in this park. I was going to say, I see people park here all the yeah, time yeah. and walk up. It's not that far. No. If it, no, no. You know, if that's we allowed. Yeah. 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 Right. And I, I don't know if, I, I mean, I, I don't want it to just sound like I'm a sign freak, but we're, we need sign, more signage here. We need because better signage. Better. Yeah. We need to clean up our signage. Yeah. And I think if we had better signage, it wouldn't seem like we had so many we signs. Were, Dave and I were just having this talk um, with one of the neighbors because they, there's a 15 mile an hour sign. You know, we live on Grand Rio as well as. Right. There's a 15 mile an hour sign, the new signs, and then there's another one, and then there's another one. We're like, there's three 15 mile an hour signs right here. Right. Oh. Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I want to prevent too. I don't. I don't want to like open no up a can of worms where yeah, I don't want sign abuse. <laughs> so I think right. that if we start to have this discussion, it's it's important to have that that sign committee, or even just to add language in the ordinance itself that says they have to be. You know, right. They have to be all the same. They have to be this, that, and the other. To see where we can consolidate and where we need extra. It's a smart yeah. Move. Yeah. So I don't know if anybody has anything else they wanted to talk about in terms of signage. If you hate that idea, if you love that idea, if you think we should do X, Y, Z. I think it's great. I think it, you know. Like I said, I like the blade signs because I think, again, it encourages walking. And so we are, are we going to encourage our current businesses to, if we decide to do this, to go to the blade sign, pick one or the other? or Well, that's, I think that would be, uniform. I think that would be our next move would be, look, this is what we well, want to do. do right. It would be an official conversation. Be, you can't yeah. force them because they're right, 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 right. You know, if you do your, your side ordinances, it would be... You know, and I think there. that if we go to them and we say, you know, we're trying to make this more business friendly, we're trying to bring you more, you know, we're actually trying to work mm -hmm. for you. So, you know, help us along, you know, let us, let's talk about having uniform, attractive signs. And I'm sure that, you know, if I, you know, I'm sure that they would come to the table with that. Depends on the cost. Sure. For oh, people yeah. to yes. change their sign. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And in the meantime, just we can work on what needs to be yeah. done moving down the line. Right. We don't want signs like this, correct? Well, that's, yeah, no, we don't want signs like that. Yeah, if you change no, the like ordinance, like anyone a, a that's already center. there is grandfathered right. in. Right. And anyone new moving forward would have to get different signs. Right. That's all. And when they see how nice they are, they might want them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. If, like, if, right. You know, like, again, if like, Jags put one out, let's say, and then they got increased traffic and somebody or you know like again the, the tattoo yeah. parlor said oh, it looks really nice i mean like businesses are they do are they are savvy people if they think that they'll it'll increase their bottom line they'll they'll be right. all for especially it. on bridge street i mean how many people come across the bridge every day right yeah definitely and you can be stuck in at the, at the light and then you see the sign and on the corner oh, of delmore there, bridge you know that little lunch. tiny shopping center where concerto fusion is mm -hmm. i know there was talk years ago with the mba about putting a sign up that says Delmore Plaza or whatever the name of that little shopping center is and have a you know a lighted sign that right. listed the businesses in there and I know that you know they 
went to the borough, but I don't know what the result well, was. Well, it's not, they, they can't have it. That's what I'm saying. That's the, that would be another reason. Like a they, they could, yeah, they want an actual, like, I think it's called like a tombstone sign. Yeah, but it would be tall, like a freestanding on the corner. Right, right. So people coming across the bridge would see it and say, oh, I didn't know there was a shopping center there. Right. Right, right and again, that's. Yeah, Al Franklin would. Uh, they're, see, they're, they're, the, they're zoned the same as uh, Bridge Street. Right. So if we allowed signage, he could have a sign. Kitty, did you ever talk to this guy? I talked to him about Who? signage too. The, the meat market that's for sale. Oh, Mr. Mr. Because, yeah, I think. Mr. I, I, Special, oh, women. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Special. Oh, Mr. Special. Did you call Mr. Yeah. Stogies. 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 Well, Stogies. He Stogies. had, this, his signage was wrong. I told him that. I said, you need to put supermarket, grocery store. He didn't do that. He put pizzas on there. And I think if some local people would Which have. Which guy? Uh, was it the special? original guy or the new guy? Mm -hmm. There's been three owners. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mr. So, special Meats, the one on Bird Street? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're new, well, they've been there for mm -hmm. two oh, years now. Two years, that's okay. That's the one I talked to. But I told him, I think the local people would walk there even to get their groceries. And they were very reasonable. And they but serve hot meals, that. right? Yes. They serve hot meals, reasonable. I mean, lunch you can get, a, like a meal for like six bucks. Right. Mm -hmm. She cooks herself. Yeah, homemade soups and um, yeah. Spanish food. Oh yeah, beans and rice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. I don't understand I why they're selling. I think it's just it's like it's an investment. I don't think they're leaving. Oh, okay, that's good. But the they building, should be the building's to. being sold. Right. Oh, okay. But they, they need different signage. I mean, I think it's confusing what they, what you know, because it's what says, they have to offer. Is, yes, right. it's confusing. And, and when it said inside. Mr. Special Meats, people are like, what's that? Yeah, right. Right. Like kangaroo or something. I don't know. That's, <laughs> oh, geez. That's, I mean, yeah, special meats. Special, special meats. Mm -hmm. yeah, True. Roadkill. No. Yeah. yeah. It's Mr. Special. Yes. <laughs> Okay, well, moving on from that, um, if, any, if everybody could just like think on it, and if, you, if some amazing idea just pops in your head, like please email me, call me, email me to the borough, send me a letter, carry your picture. I was, um, I was thinking uh, best way to advertise vacant commercial properties. I, I handed out that list, mm -hmm. and I also handed out um, on our shopping center. Is actually doing pretty good. They only have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven open, and the second floor of the Dollar Tree, um, and the corner ones are uh, Radio Shack and that mm -hmm. place that had the right. office furniture. Machine there. fix. Yeah. Machine fix. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, they're being, it's being run by a company that's based out of New York, but they were very helpful. Um, mm -hmm. So they, you know, they sent me this. They sent me the tenant list. So, um, so we have this. We have that list that I that I just put together in like an hour, not even. So I was trying to think of the best ways to uh, to keep the, to advertise vacant commercial properties. The first thing is just to spread the word and keep it positive about Marsville. Any area businesses that may be looking to open a second location. I don't actually know other places that somebody has gone to a particular store, a particular restaurant and said, oh my god, this is so good. If you ever think about it, come to my town, open up. And that's just how a discussion The shopping snowballs. center is going to be on the cover of the uh, Business and Visitors Guide. Oh, well, there you go. Really? Oh. Yep. But it can even be, I mean, just uh, it doesn't even have to be the location that you think about. It could just be that you want, I want a Mexican restaurant here so bad. So <laughs> yeah. I keep every Mexican restaurant I go to, I'm just like, think about moving. And my next door <laughs> neighbor bad, owns three I, of them. What's that? Wow. My next door neighbor owns three of them. Oh, right. But I've, I've gone in to burritos and I've asked them <laughs> so many times. If you ever feel like moving, just come on down the road a little bit. I probably shouldn't say that. That's how I got the garden market to come in. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. discuss and talk to him. Like, oh my God, this is so great. You know, Mars was just a few miles away. I think the Dollar Tree and the Garden Farmer's Market is what's keeping that shopping center going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, there is in a, there now. There's a business tab yeah. on the borough website and I don't... I can't, I can't, I cannot do another Facebook page. It's, this town has like one Facebook page for every person. So maybe the website would actually be a good place to say, I don't even know. Should we put actual businesses on there? I don't know if that's a good idea because well, things change. Yeah, and the question I have about that is that I'm sure you're familiar with what you need to do every time you need to update the borough website. 
Um, can you, is there a web person that can handle that? I know there's a web page for the person for the business, the borough page, but not if you're going to do the businesses, you're going to need more activity and updates on it. Well, that's what I mean. I don't, I don't know if that's something that we should undertake because I don't want it to be bad information. Well, the problem is ownership, I mean, it changes. Right. You know, the last business and visitor's guide, we put two pages in our commercial properties for rent and for sale. And, you know, by the time we printed the guide, it was obsolete. Right. So we don't have that section in this year. Right. But well, just use that page for business practices. To say we're business friendly, we're open for business, come to our town. But then and that's sort of what it says now. It's really just like one sentence that says, no, but I mean, business. with guidelines as to what, like what? Things like attractive signs and that kind of stuff. Okay. The They're, things, I'm sorry, the things that you mentioned that were in the visitor's guide properties, that was positive activity that churned those, uh, those yes. things. Yes. I did cases. like that. Yeah, I thought it was good. So uh, it's, uh, it doesn't bother me that it's obsolete. It, it, it almost is a good sign. Yeah, because it also, you could say, oh, I like that. I called them up. They're not available, but they could tell me, oh, no, but there's another business, you know, around the corner that's, that's right. open now. We had so. to reduce it by four pages this year because we couldn't sell advertising. So we had to take four pages out, and that was, that was two of them. So I just, I think we could do, we, we, well, we definitely could do more with the business tab on the borough website. Um, I don't know if we should maybe say, like, here's an example of some properties. Can you do, like, a business it. opportunities and put these on there? Well, well see, the do you think that's what I'm worried about, that it know, might be obsolete, sense. you know what I mean? Yeah. I would, be, that, I would be willing to do it on Do you on think that that's a good idea because, again, they could call and get information and get other ideas? Or do you mm -hmm. think that's a bad idea because... I don't, think it's, I don't think it's a bad idea. You okay. just have to keep it up to date. You know, it's got to right. be current. Yeah. I don't think that would be too bad. I mean, even if you do it, like, every couple of weeks, right? But then you'd but, have to have someone that would know the status of the I mean, that's, right, that's, that's fine. Well, they have right? to come to the borough if they want to get... But who would have a UNL? No. no, but this is, like, before, way before that. Information. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, is way before that. that. Still well, you know. we could also put this property is available and who the realtor is. Right. Yeah. And then the realtor contact. The realtor. Right. But let's say this property is gone, but they have another property in the borough. So they somebody have. would what have if they have a property that. that's not in the borough. I don't trust yeah. realtors. Yeah. They'll, they'll um, definitely. They'll try to sell anything. I get the whole exactly. Thing. But it says it's Morrisville. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, and it might be Lower Makefield or Yardley. Yeah. But what would, are there any limitations to the borough website? Are you allowed to list properties for sale or for lease that don't belong to the borough? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to do that. Because this is again, this is a bus this is the business tab on the borough website. Right. It's just like having a community tab. So I yeah, I, okay. I, I yeah, this isn't like a borough property. We list things on the Check borough county first. Or don't oh no, I definitely. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to know what everybody thought if was it was a good idea or not. First of all, that's that's oh, yeah. step yeah, one. I hear I'm, like yeah. the majority of people say, if you no, that's a terrible idea because yeah, someone has, has to yeah. coordinate it. Because I'm telling you, updating the websites. Taking pictures on one point. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's time for I know, I know. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And then, you know, if if you have someone like yourself or whoever's on Facebook, you know, could put it out there on Facebook. And I know a lot of people say I don't go on Facebook, but Facebook gets a lot of, you know, traffic. So you could do both put one on the borough website, you know, com commercial properties for sale or lease or whatever. And whenever one becomes available, or you know, just maybe just make it like a flyer, and make you know make it a JPEG and just put it out there and just you know share it once, put it out there once a month or something. Right. That's easy. If once you yeah. make the flyer up, I mean, do it in Word and you know. Yeah, that's what I did. And I'm not savvy. I have an art program. I do art program. I need yeah. a table and work. I don't require <laughs> much, copy much, much, but and, and maybe just put it up there program. once a month. You know, we have these commercial properties for sale or for lease. You know. Maybe yeah, because one might come off, but maybe two more. Might come and you can off. keep language on there saying like, yeah. generic change. Please right. contact us for more information. Right. Just make it generic that right. 
you know. And I wanted to include information on there too about getting COs, about what do you need. I wanted to see about even if we could put PDFs on there of any sort of forms that anybody would need. Anything to make it easier for anybody to, to start. You can put files out, like the ordinance, the borough ordinance. Well, that's already on the web page. Oh, it's already out there? Well, I thought you said coordinates. Ordinance, <laughs> yeah. All right, this is another idea that I had that I kind of regretted as soon as I had it, but I figured I'd throw it out there. I know a lot of people, and it's confusing, don't know like the lines between Marshall Borough and, and particularly Falls Township, particularly mm -hmm. down Trenton Avenue. Mm -hmm. And I know, for instance, that gas station that was next to McDonald's on Trenton Avenue was just an eyesore forever and ever and ever. And yeah, I don't know, overgrown. what's that? Now it's overgrown. Now it's overgrown. Yeah. So I don't know if, that would be an overreach of something that our committee could do, or if it's a good idea for us to take that. I don't know. Is it Marshall or Falls? It, that's Falls, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know if that could be that's something Marshall. that, you know. Well, we could, someone from the borough would have to call Falls and say, hey. So that's probably not a good idea for us to take that. I didn't it, would, think it, it would have to be your code enforcement. Yeah. What you Maybe code enforcement to could call talk and to say, Falls. you know. Right. right. You, know, you know what, I like, I like the borough to have that information. On Pennsylvania anyway. Avenue, as you go approach Trenton Avenue at the shopping center on the Pennsylvania Avenue side we're asking casuals yes from the driveway to Pennsylvania I mean to Trenton Avenue that sidewalk has so many holes pits and the foliage is all overgrown the side you can't walk at all you have to go in the street where between the driveway of the shopping center to Trenton Avenue the sidewalk the sidewalk right. there was a manhole there the manhole was dug out. Avenue. It's now like wow. this deep down, and the sidewalk is all busted up, and the foliage that's on this this side of the fence of the shopping center is all overgrown over the sidewalk. The tree is over. You can't walk on the sidewalk. You have to walk out. They the took street. out a manhole and did. It's There's a manhole in the middle of the sidewalk. Okay. Well, is that's that something the brains need to look at? I've, I don't know. I've been they reporting it trees. for like eight months. Trees would be the boroughs. What well, belongs to the shopping center? The trees yeah, do. Yeah, the shopping center. All <laughs> out on the curb? It, no, it's it's behind the fence, so it belongs oh, to the shopping center. Oh, they're always center. out there. I always see them out Are there trimming and everything. Behind where the electronic store was. Yeah. Yeah. Before you get to Trenton Avenue, the, the sidewalk is a mess. It's treacherous. It's you know the sidewalk is broken up. It's like it's like walking on uneven pebbles. You know, and with the manhole there, it's it's a full, huge manhole that was covered but never filled in. So it's a gap about that big. And if you're walking and you're not paying attention, you step in it and you could break an ankle or something. Or fall into the street. But the foliage the belongs to the shopping center. Or? It's just overgrown over the fence. To no, I think that's something that should go right to the borough. Yeah. This is on Pennsylvania Avenue. I've reported it like eight times. How much time? Because I walk there all the time. Just, I don't well, know. if it's a shopping center, they well, the foliage belongs to the shopping center, definitely, because it's behind because the fence. The fence. Yeah, right, that belongs to the shopping center. I thought you meant the trees on the curb. Or no, no, no. The trees on the shopping center side, and the bushes hang over the sidewalk all the way to the street, and then the sidewalk itself is really in bad shape. So it's you know not conducive to walking. I thought we were responsible for our sidewalks. We are responsible for the sidewalks. Yeah. Not, not the borough. I mean, homeowners are the business owners. Do you think? That's borough property, I believe, isn't it? The sidewalk? I don't think so. The sidewalk belongs to the shopping center? I think the sidewalk belongs to the shopping center. But I will try to find shovel it, it yeah. in, the, in the winter. Oh, well, then I guess someone needs to call the owner of the shopping center. Yeah, I'll, 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 I have a contact that gave me this information. I'll see if they can send somebody out. All right, uh, we are to the open discussion number. Anybody had any ideas, questions, comments, concerns? Years ago, the business association was pushing the concept of getting a township man a borough manager to manage all the stuff we're talking about, actually put them on the payroll. It's worked in some towns. And uh, I remember when that was being quoted, it was pointed out that the, 
what's the Rumor Towns group? Landmark Towns? Landmark Towns, yeah. Um, that wait and see what they did because they were going to kind of move into that area. And so those pushing the township manager or borough manager idea just kind of backed off to see if that happened. And it did. So like I'm a downtown. It would seem to me if it was somebody who had a full time job of attracting businesses to the downtown district might happen. Somebody who is known as the contact if you want to open a business in Boston. Right. And well, we do have the Bucks County Planning Commission working on that, that survey, the downtown survey, mm -hmm. and hopefully that will be done soon. Um, I seems do. like we've got so many surveys and yeah. things that uh, nothing happens. I, don't, I think I mean, he's kind of talking good, but yeah. like a marketing person that would market mm -hmm. right, right. Morrisville Borough and, mm -hmm. you know, get the advertising. But it needs to be a full-time job, right. somebody that's looking at it all day long. Well, I don't know if we have the budget for no. that yet, but I would no. like to start Somebody's at least. Pay for that. And again, I think that this shows that we're serious about it. If we yeah. start doing like these maybe smaller things, should we come together, especially with some of the businesses, and show that we're organized and we're a united front for these particular things? I think that makes us more attractive, maybe for somebody who wants to maybe come in and do something like that. Um, and I, I think that the Planning Commission, the Bucks County Planning Commission, would be appreciative of, of any work that we could do, since you know it's our town. So I think that they, that's what Mike Rowe did. He's the one that actually ran the uh, the survey, the downtown survey. He was here that night. And he actually gave, you know, he actually recommended that we start, you know, we hit the, so that he can hit the ground running when he comes and he gives, looking basically. At looking at, well, he was looking at the surveys and stuff. I don't know that he's, but again, this, we live here, so I think that it's really important that we have, you know what I mean, a, a voice in what we, what we do. Because, again, I want it to be business friendly, but I don't want it to be 18 different signs going down, you know, Bridge Street. So, but, um, right, there's plenty of room for conformity. And definitely, yeah. I agree with uniformity, though. Yeah, I think that's really important. I mean, if we can't come to come to a consensus on that, then I, I think Quaker Town and Doyle's Town look great. Yeah. And, well, I don't know, does Bristol have a... Any type of sign or, I mean, uniformity or anything? They're changing. They're oh, they're downtown. changing as they go along mm -hmm. now? Yeah. Yeah. Fair idea. And again, I think it's really important to, like, anything that we can do to encourage walking through that, our, our business, our downtown business district, I think is really important. So. Yeah, because maybe someone, you know, stops in one of the stores and looking up the street or you, you you can't tell what's up the street exactly. and if you saw yeah, a sign yeah. sticking That's out and said point. ben's deli well oh, there's a deli there i didn't know that no. you know sure. i think it's a great idea all right um so uh i don't know if we want to move forward with this freestanding sign any kind of changes in the zoning right now uh, maybe we can talk about that more at next month's meeting if we could schedule that right now um I mean, I'll certainly send a memo to all of council so they know what we talked about today and they can weigh in if they want to come to the next meeting or... Well, I actually think that we're much further along than we realize because we have had so many studies done. <laughs> so many proposals <laughs> and there's so many similarities and I think that if you're going to continue doing a group like this is that you need to look at them what's already been paid for pull, right? pull, pull everything that out, out. Mm -hmm. so that's the problem I don't think anything's really been done with it them. hasn't been so now we need to move yeah. on it and again I think that again that's mm -hmm. something else that really shows businesses that we're serious mm -hmm. um, are you guys available September 12th it's sort of around the same area Tuesday. of the month it's a Tuesday I don't know when our agenda meeting is. Let me make sure that's not the night of our agenda meeting. That's our agenda meeting. That's our agenda meeting. Okay. Are Wednesdays okay for you guys? Wednesdays at 7 o'clock the next day, September 13th? Yes. You know what? Let me check the borough calendar. Oh, 
September 13th. So open. We all good? September 13th? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, 7 o'clock. Okay, if that is it, then I will adjourn this meeting at 7.42 p.m. And again, please let me know any thoughts you have in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. Don't act like I'm the only one that does that. Oh my god, signage. <laughs> Even though I'm bad next to your bed. <laughs> yeah. I do These are my sad dreams. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to be dreaming about Channing Tatum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really single Chris Pratt. Make it come on.